I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the wattle stitch. Uh, that's uh, W-A-T-T-L-E, the wattle stitch, which is a stitch that you see here in front of you. It's quite a fun stitch to work. It's comprised of single and double crochet V stitches. It is the same on the front and the back, and it just creates this uh, pretty fabric that I think would work excellent in a variety of projects. So that's what we're going to learn how to work today. I'm going to be using a 6mm crochet hook along with the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations, and I'll provide links in the notes for this video for both of these items should you wish to learn more about them. Now, uh, if it's your first time to my channel, I invite you to subscribe to it. It's updated weekly with free stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. And uh, check out some of the other videos that are there. Now, let's uh, grab our hook and our yarn and we will get started learning this stitch together. Our pattern today for the wattle stitch is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and a foundation chain. And your foundation chain can be any multiple of three stitches. So today I'm going to start with a multiple of uh, 21 stitches, how about? Ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-one. We're going to start the first row of this pattern, and the wonderful thing about this is that it is a one row repeat. So we're going to start the first row of our pattern by working a single crochet stitch into the second chain from our hook. So skip one into that second chain, work one single crochet stitch. You're then going to work the first of your kind of lopsided V stitches and it is worked by working a single crochet, chain one, and then double crochet. So you're going to work that all into the next chain. Single crochet, chain one, and then into the same chain work a double crochet stitch. Next, you're going to skip two chains, one, two, and into that next chain, you're going to repeat. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into the same chain. Repeat that across, so skip two chains, single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across your foundation chain. Skip two, skip two, single crochet, chain one, double crochet, all the way to your final three chains, and then you're going to work a single crochet into that final chain. That brings you to the end of your row one. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to repeat that, basically what we did below again. So we're going to work a single crochet into that first stitch. And then our uh, V stitches is going to be worked into the space, the chain one space of the V stitch below. So you're going to skip that first double crochet stitch and you're going to work into the next chain one space your single crochet chain one and double crochet skip your next single crochet and double crochet into the chain one space single crochet chain one and double crochet Skip the next two stitches into the chain one space. Repeat, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. 
it's that simple. It's nice that you don't have to work into the tops of very many stitches. So it makes it quite quick to work once you get it going. Into the chain one space, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. You're going to do that all the way across. When you come to your first or your final single crochet there, you're going to work a single crochet into that single crochet stitch. And that's all there is to working the wattle stitch. So chain one, you're just going to repeat that row over and over again. Single crochet in the first stitch, skip and into skip uh, one and into that chain one space, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. do a few more here then you can really see the pattern coming out come to your final single crochet stitch and work a single crochet in the top chain one turn your work that's all there is to working the waddle stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. And once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.